Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I have a day to myself today. It's going to be a nice cozy day but I'm planning on heading out to a few places. There are a couple of places that I no longer have where we live now that I've been meaning to go and have a look in. So number one is Dunelm. I want to go and have a look in there. And then also there's a really lovely garden centre down that way as well, which I don't have any more here. I've got different ones here. Still good, but just not quite the same, particularly the Christmas. Like the way that they do Christmas in that garden centre is just like... A Christmas wonderland and I don't know what it is I'm just I'm really in a festive zone at the moment I'm just enjoying it I think it's because I've ordered a Christmas tree <laughs> I will explain later um I did take a clip of it yesterday actually we're going to be kind of bouncing a little bit in the future and in the past in this vlog the reason I ordered it isn't because I wanted to get one at that specific moment in time it's because I saw the most insane offer on this Christmas tree and I literally had to buy it like there was no question about it I put it on my Instagram so many people have since gone and bought it which is really exciting you will have seen in the intro to this vlog that I did pop to Neptune as well and I do have a bag of goodies somewhere okay here they are I do have a bag of goodies which maybe I'll just show you now why not so I popped to Neptune yesterday as I had a day off and I did have a couple of vouchers that I got for my birthday. So there were a couple of bits I picked up. Now, first things first, what's this piece of cardboard? There was a new ornament that I basically went there for and I will pop a picture of it on the screen. I can't remember what it's called. It's called some sort of bird, I want to say Paloma or something. And there's a large and a small version. It came out, I believe, whilst I was on holiday in Morocco. And then a time has just gone by and I've not had the chance to go there and get one. I had no idea that it had literally sold out everywhere. Like, there was literally none left. And even online, I didn't know. If you go online, you can pre-order it, but it's not due in till February. Sadly, I wasn't able to get that bird, which I was really gutted about, but I did get a couple of other things. So thing number one, I'll show you the most exciting thing first because I'm very pleased with it. I have been wanting this for quite a while and it's by no means the cheapest thing in the world. It's not like horrendously priced, but it's not that cheap, but I have so many ideas for it. And especially when we finally come around to doing our media unit in the living room, I know that it will look perfect on there as well. I have bought, any guesses? <laughs> the Hickstead horse. So this is the small size. I will try and show you up close the best I can. Um, but this is, yeah, the Hickstead horse. This is the small version. There's two sizes that you can get and I believe it was £42, but it is stunning. For now, I'm gonna keep him wrapped up until I get round to properly styling him. And the second thing I bought was something nice and small for the more festive times ahead. I thought I would treat myself to a new little candle. These are kind of well-known Neptune candles. They're not ridiculously priced. So this one is six pounds and I'm going to pop it into my Hobbycraft lantern, which I'll show you in just a moment. And it is just a beautiful burgundy deep red color. Perfect for the festive times at home. So yeah, that was what I picked up. Fingers crossed I can get my hands on one of the new birds really soon because it is beautiful. And to be honest, I think the other reason it's sold out is because it's such a good price as well. It's 20 pounds, which for Neptune is a really good price. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There is just nothing like autumn sunshine in the morning. I will give James, what should we rate him for this bed making today? One of the cushions is round the wrong way round. <laughs> I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him a seven out of 10. I think that's fair. It's not perfect, but he's doing very well. Anyway, I had to pop upstairs. So I thought I would just, oh my gosh, 
I assure you my legs are not red. I have brown tights on and <laughs> they are looking incredibly strange in the camera. So let's just pretend that that's not a thing. So I'm thinking first off, this is the hurricane vase I was talking about downstairs. So I will, if I could focus you, I will swap that for a red one once we get into festive season. This is my new Neptune vase as well, which I'm absolutely in love with. I got this for my birthday from my dad, which is very kind. It was on my wish list. And obviously I will take out the, the autumnal colours and it will very, very easily become a Christmassy bouquet in there now i'm thinking i might pop the horse on here let's have a quick look now i do like it i definitely need a bigger book under here because the the horse kind of drowns out the size of the book i do think it looks really lovely and i think it adds much more of a nice rustic feel to this area of the room as well i still need to get handles for these wardrobes and i still need to change the knobs on this chest of drawers as well i just haven't got around to doing it um, and this space is kind of still quite empty as well. This is just Ronnie's area, in case you couldn't tell. But yeah, I think he looks nice there. I'm going to play around with him and just see if there is anywhere else downstairs that he would look nice as well, because I just think he should be on show. I mean, he looks beautiful here, but no one's really going to see him apart from me and James. So yeah, I'll have a play. But for now, I think that looks really cute. Anyway, I am going to quickly finish getting ready. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat because my tummy is rumbling and I haven't fed it yet today. I'm not sure what the time is, but I think it's like nearly 10 o'clock. I think I'll make a cup of tea, grab myself a bite to eat, and then we will go out and about. We'll go for a drive. We'll go to Dunelm, have a look in there. We will pop to the garden center, which I'm very excited about. And then we will pick up my little fur baby and bring him home. Okay, we are ready to go. I have just popped my bag on. I remembered about the Christmas tree. <laughs> Once I walked into this room, I have not had time to even think about taking it down yet. So what I'll do is I'll pop in the clip of me chatting away to you about the Christmas tree and all of the details about it because it is stunning. So this is very exciting. I discovered some artificial Christmas trees on the home base website. I've never looked on there before for Christmas trees. And as some of you might know, we obviously need a Christmas tree for the famous Christmas tree corner, which was identified when we moved into the house in June. And I actually spotted this tree. And the first thing that jumped out to me was how realistic it looked. So my kind of dream Christmas tree is the Balsam Hill Royal Blue Spruce. I just think it's so realistic and I love the style of it and the shape of it and the way that the branches are. And I have never ever been able to find a Christmas tree that comes close until I found this one. <laughs> I'm not sure if it will still be live now, hopefully it is, but they actually had a 20% off sale on all of their Christmas, provided you spend £100. And also, if you sign up to their email newsletter, you get an additional 10% on top. So I bought this seven foot pre-lit Christmas tree, realistic Christmas tree for £144, which I think is an absolute bargain. It's £200 new, um, but I paid 144 which is, I mean, I would have bought it for £200, to be honest. So yeah, I thought I've just collected it. I'm going to take it out the box, get some proper photos of it, make sure I'm happy before I store it away for Christmas. Bear with me whilst I put it up and we will see how it looks. Oh my gosh. So I'm about halfway through and I thought I would just give you an up close of the branches. It's really difficult to show you properly. It might be better if I turn the brightness down a little bit, um, but they are absolutely stunning. Just look, can you imagine how the corner of this room is gonna look? I'm obviously gonna get a tree skirt for the bottom as well, and I haven't finished puffing out the top, um, but the branches are, if I try and focus, basically a combination of like your standard green branches. And then at the edge of each of the hinges, I've got these, really really beautiful faux kind of spruce branches as well which have got some little hints of brown in some different colors it looks really real oh my gosh <gasps> i absolutely love it let me flick the lights on for you as well and show you up close 
Oh my goodness me. <gasps> It is the perfect size, so I need to get a tree skirt and obviously something to go at the top as well. By the time I've popped something up here, it will reach the ceiling. How perfect does this tree look in the living room? I can't get over it. I don't want to take it down, guys. <laughs> I don't want to take it down. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright that contains half my house, my vase, my candle holder, the tree, my tray. <laughs> the church gate range is my favourite. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Look who's here Look who's here He's back and he's got lots to sniff. <laughs> <laughs> what have you found? Have you found your bear? Have you found your bear? Look at the little waggly tail. You found your little squeaky bear. Yeah. I am back home. I'll be honest, Dunelm was okay although I didn't buy anything. There were a few bits that I did see that, that looked quite nice, kind of in the Christmas section, but there was nothing that made me think I have to have that right now. I think, to be honest, with a lot of the Christmas things, I need to properly take out and go through what I have in the loft because I just can't remember what I have. And then I might be able to get to a point where I start to buy other things because I just know I'm gonna end up getting something and then I'll already have it upstairs. So anyway, I am very much overdue a cup of tea. I desperately need one. And I also need a snack because I'm very hungry. And then I think Ronnie and I are going to wait for James to get home in a couple of hours time before I go back out again with a friend for dinner. And we're gonna cozy up in the snug room with some blankets because it is absolutely freezing in this house especially downstairs i think i'm gonna pop some youtube on and catch up on some of my youtube that i have not watched for a little while have exciting news very exciting news so one of the lovely ladies from the neptune store in winchester has just called me to say bless her to say that a customer has just come in and they've managed to get hold of one of the large birds and one of the small birds that the ladies just returned 
for whatever reason she she doesn't want them or doesn't need them and i could not be happier so i said to her let me check the traffic if the traffic is okay i'm gonna come straight down bless her she did offer to keep them for me because i'm actually going there in a couple of weeks to do a wreath making workshop kind of thing which i'm very very excited for but i thought you know what i don't want to be the reason that someone else misses out if they really want one if i kind of get there and i look at the two sizes and think oh actually i don't need that size or i don't need that size so i'm gonna go and have a quick look now i'm very excited here i'm gonna be honest this is probably a little bit tmi but <laughs> i literally ran out the front door and i really need a wee <laughs> and I didn't even think about going I just got in the car and drove here and it's like a 20 minute drive roughly so yeah I'm kind of regretting that but let's head in and see what we can find absolute bedroom of dreams this is look at these cushion covers I really really want this bedspread and I've actually seen not that I should be talking about it whilst I'm in Neptune but I've seen that there is such a dupe of this in TK Maxx at the moment so now that I've seen this in real life I'm actually really tempted to get it for the guest bedroom I think the dupe is about 70 pounds which is still not super cheap but I guarantee as much <laughs> cheaper than this one this vase is also on my wish list. It was this one and the other one which I showed you earlier that I had on my birthday wish list. So this one will be next in line. Love these as well. How perfect would this be for like a wintry, well, what they've done basically, like a wintry bouquet. Love them, love the berries as well. Bathroom of dreams. Is this or is this not the cutest little Neptune bag you've ever seen? So I secured both the birds and I will show you as soon as I get home. So this is very exciting. Ronnie is just as excited. Excuse me, I can't get to the bag now, can I? Will you come and sit over here? <laughs> sit down there and then we can look in the bag properly or sniff something in the rug, either or. <laughs> Entirely up to you. So as soon as I take something out of this bag, he is going to get excited and think it's a present for him and try and unwrap it. So we will see how we go. Now, as I said, I decided to get both of the birds and I literally cannot wait to show you. I don't have anywhere to balance my phone, so I'm just going to have to do it one handed and hope for the best. They were so lovely in there to put them aside for me and I did have another little mooch but didn't find anything to pick up. So this is the small version. What's the actual name of them? They are called Paloma Ceramic Bird. So the tall one is 20 and the small one is 18 pounds. This being the small one. There we go, unwrapping the presents. <laughs> You're gonna have to move your fluffy head, otherwise nobody can see what it looks like. Okay, so first of all, proudly presented by Ronnie, this is the small version. How adorable is this bird? I will show you up close and I'll try and show you tomorrow in daylight as well, but just look at the texture of that. It is absolutely stunning. So this is the tall version absolutely beautiful again so if i try and pop them both next to each other you knocked her over if i pop them both next to each other guys how stunning are they the pattern on this is so similar to the pattern of the wallpaper in the guest bedroom so i just know they're gonna look so lovely i do think they would look nice together but then equally they might look nice separate as well so i'll have a play around with them tomorrow you can't go out there because james is painting the white work <laughs> and he does not want a black fluffy doggy all over some sticky white gloss paint does he so we are currently trapped in here but yeah i just could not wait to show you those <laughs> Good morning it is another day it is a new day sorry if there is a really noisy road behind me it's really loud today for some reason i've just popped out to take ronnie on a little morning walk it is chilly this morning but honestly i've taken a few clips of the trees behind me when i turned the corner it was just absolutely stunning like the yellows the browns the oranges the reds i feel like in the last few days 
it has really become autumn and it's just absolutely beautiful about time considering it's literally the end of October I thought we would have another cozy day today I'm going to finish my walk get some bits done around the house James is actually busy doing the garden fence today thankfully it's not raining I was also thinking that we could do a bit of baking today seeing as I've been needing to use my kitchen aid I'm gonna do a bit of Halloween baking I found a really cool recipe I think it was on Pinterest that I found it I just got home and I thought I would show you the two birds in natural daylight as well so hopefully you can see I'm gonna try and get a good angle that's probably better you can see the texture and the colors and the beautiful pattern I actually think there's James doing the fence in the back garden. I actually think I'm going to pop them just up here for now. They look so sweet up there. I have so much stuff on my desk that I need to uh, tidy up and sort out, but I think they look really sweet there. Okay, I think we are good to go. So that is not for the baking. That is something for James. <laughs> we have marshmallows, we have light brown sugar, couple of bags now, oh no, I've got chips, I meant to get chunks, oh no, I didn't read them properly, oh well, we'll just have to go with chocolate chips and I'll just put extra in. I've also got a few pens, which I know will come in super handy for my idea, I got bicarb of soda, I only had baking powder or bicarb of soda and the recipe says baking soda which is like in between but I figured this would probably be better than powder um, and I actually <laughs> called a couple of family members to ask them as well and that's what they told me to get and then vanilla extract, golden syrup and we've got icing sugar, plain flour, some butter and some white sugar. Stage one is complete. I am just going to pray that they taste as yummy <laughs> as they look. Um, the recipe that I did basically said take really good care not to overbake them. So they should be very light and fluffy in kind of texture and colour at the top. And then just the outsides should be a golden brown, which I don't know how well you can see but they have got a golden brown around the outside. So I'm not gonna overbake them. I want them to be really soft and gooey. I'm still gutted I didn't get the chocolate chunks instead of the chocolate chips, but at least I've got a nice patch in the middle on most of these to um, pop a marshmallow on the top. how cute do these look for my first attempt i mean this one could have could have done better but for my first attempt oh my gosh i love this one that actually looks like a cute little ghost doesn't it oh they're so cute let me know what you guys think i've displayed them on a little board just so that i can get a picture for my instagram as well and i've just used a little bit more of the icing sugar whatever it's called <laughs> to um draw a couple of bits on the chopping board but oh my gosh i'm so pleased with those i did just offer james and his friend one each to try and i don't know if they were just being nice 
but they did say that they enjoyed them and the middle of the cookie was especially really nice as well and the marshmallow just finished it off so i am very proud of those that was definitely a lot of fun i'm gonna push this door up because there is definitely the sound of football in the background i am actually making myself a hot water bottle because I am absolutely freezing. It probably doesn't help that the back door has been like a tiny bit open for the majority of the day whilst the fence has been done. I'll go and show you the fence in just a sec because they have finished it and it looks really good. Um, but yeah, I, I just feel like I've got this cold through my whole body and I've just got this awful like shivery shiver. My ghost cookies were quite yummy did enjoy them i've actually had two and i'm not going to have any more because we are having roast for dinner this evening it's just a chicken roast but i'm very much looking forward to it i really fancy a nice wholesome cozy relatively healthy <laughs> like do you know what i mean just a nice wholesome meal you have been so well behaved today with all the funny noises all the banging and crashing of doing the banisters and doing the fence. What can you see out the window? What can you see out the window? I do need to get a new hot water bottle actually. There is nothing wrong with this one, to be honest. But I've had it for so many years, I just feel like I want a new one, you know? It's kind of like, it is, it is supposed to be like super, super fluffy and it is still quite cosy. But it's not really my colour anymore and it's kind of lost that really fluffy texture because I have had it for quite a few years. But it doesn't take away from the fact that it is so cozy. Oh my gosh. This is literally what I needed. Ignore the sound of football in the background, but how much nicer does this fence look compared to the old rubbish on the one that we had? We did lose a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of the garden just because the old fence was not straight and it was completely like falling apart. Um, and obviously we will paint it the same colour as the two side fences, although I do really like the colour of natural fence but I'm happy for James to have his grey colour that he, that he likes and I do still think it will look lovely. I think once I do actually go outside and walk to the end of the garden, I will be able to see over the bottom of the fence because that's kind of the reason that we did it in the first place so that we kind of have the view of the paddock and it really feels like the garden's been extended. Do you like it? Do you like it? Look at my socks and slippers combo going on. I've really been showing you some looks this weekend, haven't I? We are going to have to dry your feet afterwards. Do you like the new fence? James's roast always makes me very happy. Look at those potatoes. It's kind of steaming up my camera, but oh my gosh, look at the carrots. Oh my gosh.